Hey, this is Red Band, and you are listening to the Death Squad Podcast Network coming to you live from the Ice House Comedy Club in Pasadena, California. I put together a couple comedy shows a week usually here, so go to their website, icehousecomedy.com, and search for Death Squad. That way you can see a live show that I, uh, with all the Death Squad comics and people that you know. Uh, we do it once or twice a week. This podcast and all the podcasts of Death Squad can also be found on iTunes. Search the iTunes store for Death Squad or go to our website, DeathSquad.tv, and click on the subscribe link. I pay for this whole thing out of my own pocket, so if you can help me out, click on the donation link for more information. Or if you're doing holiday shopping, please check out Doug.com. That's D-U-G-G-E-D.com. That just opens up Amazon, so if you want to shop at Amazon, go to Doug instead. But that way... Anytime you spend a dollar, uh, we get a couple pennies. So if you do your Christmas shopping on there, you're helping Death Squad without even realizing it. And it doesn't cost any extra money. You get the exact same Amazon as normal. It's pretty cool. So check out Doug.com. D-U-G-G-E-D.com. And now, here's your mom's house. What? Yeah. What up? What could be better, man? Nothing. Rest in peace, Tupac. Rest in peace, MC Breed. Did you know he was dead, too? No, I never even heard of him. <laughs> so I'm doing all right. It's been about 15 and years, And I'm, I'm think, still getting but... over Tupac, but whatever. Yeah, right. This is a somebody, jam, somebody in a subway... I, I lived in Baltimore when Tupac died. Yeah. And I was in a subway subs with, like, full-on bulletproof glass. Yeah. And the whole thing, like, you put your money in a circular thing and turn it around. Yeah. Like, like a shitty to subway. Get a subway. And somebody comes up to me and my <laughs> friend, they're like... fucking shitty neighborhood. I know. It's Baltimore. That's Ryan's favorite city, by yeah. the way. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, somebody come up to me like, Tupac R.I.P. And we're like, yeah. what are you talking about? Tupac just died. And we're like, what? Huh. Hey, could you hold the mayonnaise? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, I mean, man. that's funny. That's Baltimore for you. I think it's kind of because like, he's from Baltimore. But Originally? Yeah. Pac is? Yeah. No. uh Yeah. But it's just weird that somebody, a stranger, would come up to me and tell me that. There's so many layers of the story that I love. Yeah. But is Tupac's really from Baltimore? He's from Baltimore. I thought he was from Oakland. Nah, I, that's where he, he hooked up with uh, Digital Underground, I think. Was on the West Coast. Yeah. But he's from the East Coast? This is all based on a VH1 behind the music I saw once. Okay. I know that, all right, first of all, I do this wrong every week. Let's welcome everybody to the oh, show. Oh, right, right, right. Good, more, good afternoon, uh, uh, little mommies. <laughs> Uh, that's Red Band. I'm Tom Segura. With us is the Dapper Don. Very well. The new dressed. and improved. Full charge, yeah. Matt Fultron. Um, yeah. If you're wondering, Christina could not be with us today. She is uh, obligated to do something else. She's um, shooting something fun. Yeah. So she couldn't be here. She but said she's having a good time. We what? have a great replacement in the great, very funny uh, Matt Fultron. What up? Thanks for joining us. America. Let's go back to this story that I'm fucking in love with already. Uh-huh. Uh, so, <laughs> at the time, are you living in Baltimore? I'm living in Baltimore in uh, Charles Village. Which, which, by the way, for those of you that don't know, I've only... I've been there twice. Once was yeah. sort of passing through when I lived in College Park. <laughs> yeah. I went to Baltimore. I went to D.C. And I would, you know, just kind of like, oh, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And then I went back this summer with our good friend, Ryan Sickler, yeah. to work the Baltimore Comedy Factory. He, you know, and uh, he's from there. and so, He loves Baltimore. A like, lot. He really loves Baltimore. A man. lot. And, like, we would drive through these awful neighborhoods. Where, like, they were all saying rest in peace to somebody. What's the easiest job in the world? The set decorator on the wire. Right. Because <laughs> this shit is ghetto. That shit's so through rough. Through and through. And that's the thing is that, like, we would talk about how rough it is. And then the very next, like, sentence, Ryan would go, I love fucking this love place. this city, man. Yeah, yeah. I love it here. No, he, don't, uh, he can't love it that much, though, because he doesn't live there anymore. Right, but he's still just like, I just fucking love this city. So, like, I was, I was still in college, but I was living downtown for no fucking reason whatsoever. Uh-huh. I, I went to school in the suburbs and, like, lived in the city. I wanted to fucking live in the city sure. and go skateboarding and whatnot. Like, three blocks over was Johns Hopkins University. Very kind of nice part of town. But not the hospital. The hospital is not a nice part of town. No, no. This is the, this is the school. And then okay. two blocks over is a place called Greenmont. Mm-hmm. Green Mount or Greenmont. And that shit was so fucking rough. And yeah. uh, like I'd, I'd, I used to go to this grocery store when I first went there. And they're like, yo, 
I'll pay for you. People would just come up to me every single time and be like, I'll pay for your food with my food stamps and then you give me cash. Really? No matter what. I did it once because I felt like really white and guilty. And threatened. And then after that, I was like, yeah. I stopped going there because like, it's too much. Yeah. And like, I didn't even think about like why they were doing that's it back so then threatening. either. Yeah. That's, that's so but like, it's like they're going right to buy drugs and shit. Yeah, of course. But also you kind of feel like, what if I, like, in my mind, I'd be like, if I do say no, what if they don't like that I say no? And then they're like, well, now you're not going to get your food or that money. Yeah. One time, this reminds me, one time I was on the subway in New York when I was like 20. And like, uh, you know, I was like fucking scared in New York City. Yeah. And like, I, I bought some clove cigarettes because you couldn't get them in Maryland. Yeah. For a fucking reason. They're fucking awful. They're terrible. So I had some matches on me and these, these uh, roughneck dudes were in there. And one of, them, one of them puts a cigarette in his mouth. This is in the subway. Yeah. And he goes, uh, an actual subway, not a subway restaurant. Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> right, right. all my stories take place in yeah. some sort of subway. <laughs> and uh, he's like, you know, Tupac died. I'm like, no, again. Yeah. Uh, but he's like, he's like, yo, you got a light. And I'm like, yeah, I got a light. And then his other friend goes, he goes, you can't smoke in here, man. And he's like, no, man. He's like, don't give him that light. He's like, give me that light. Don't give him that light. Give me that light. So I'm like, fucked either way. Cause two Whoa. dudes want to kill me yeah. no matter what I do. And then just kind of died down. Yeah. And then I just threw the matches on the ground. You did? <laughs> like, like a gangster. Like, you guys. <laughs> Y'all worked this shit out. Jesus, man. Yeah. And my friend told the story like I was a fucking moron. Yeah. But like the truth is, first of all, it's smoker's code. Yeah. Second of all, what's a great way to make friends with these strangers? Yeah. I didn't know they were going to argue over it. There, I still feel like I did the right thing. I think you did too. Did you ever have a, did you ever feel really threatened? In like Baltimore or New York, but did somebody ever like in really- Baltimore? Ignorance was bliss. Yeah. I was young and I would skate around on my on my skateboard at night, at like two or three in the morning through yeah. shitty neighborhoods, and uh, I didn't think twice about anything. When I when I was there, I was there in July. I stayed at a hotel that was on like a decent block. But the thing about Baltimore that that a lot of people don't understand is that most major cities, every major city has bad neighborhoods yeah and what happens is usually it's bad it's you know good neighborhood up to here then they say watch yourself over here and then it's like but once you cross that street or that bridge or whatever they're like that's the bad neighbor like stay out of that area right the way baltimore is laid out at least from what i took from being in there for for a week was that there's bad neighborhoods every other block. The safe part of Baltimore is D.C. Right. <laughs> it's pretty like, like it would, it would literally be like, they're like, no, you're cool here. Right. And then the next street over, they're like, that's a, that's a, a project. It's pretty rough. And yeah. you'd be like, okay, so stay out of that. Oh, no, no, no. If you go to the next street, it's cool. Those are cool. That's a cool street right after it. Yeah. But then two streets over from that, that's also a really, and you're like, what the fuck? Like every other street is like, watch yourself. And you're never safe either because, like, the, the really nice tourist areas. Yeah. It's just, like, people go hunting. Yeah. They just go pickpocketing and sure. fucking scamming. And Johns and Hopkins, that's the crazy thing. Johns Hopkins uh, you get, Hospital You get is, stabbed on the sidewalk, and then they put you right in the hospital. It's one of the best hospitals in the <laughs> yeah. world, if not, you know, definitely in the country. Um, but the neighborhood that's... That you walk, you would if you had to walk, you would, you'd have to walk up to to get to the hospital is one of the roughest in the city. Yeah, man. So I went. I had I had family that was in the hospital there, and I had somebody, uh, a guy who drove me to do radio. And then I was like, he's like, "What are you going to do today?" And I was like, "Well, I'm going to go visit. I have a family member at Johns Hopkins, so I'm going to go back, get something to eat, and go over there." And he's like, "How are you going over there?" And I was like. <laughs> I go, they said it's like five blocks away. He goes, you can't walk through there. And I was like, really? He goes, you're white. He was a black guy. Yeah, yeah, he goes, yeah. you're white. And I was like, is oh, that that shit. bad? And he was like, oh, man, I don't walk through that neighborhood. And I was like, right. why don't you just drop me off there then? He was like, that's probably best for you. And I yeah. was like, okay. So he dropped me off there. And I was like, yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty dicey neighborhood, man. My brother used to go there. My mom and my brother used to go there because my, my brother had like issues with his eyes. And they, yeah. had, like, they had specialists there. Yeah. And so when we were visiting, I was on the Tosh tour last year. My uh-huh. girlfriend was with me, and my yeah. parents came out to see me because they're from Maryland. They don't live close to Baltimore, two yeah. hours away. My mom's like, hey, let's go down to Lexington Market. That's where we used to go when my, uh, when you, you know, my kid, my, I heard my brother. About shit, yeah. Yeah, and we just went down there and, like, we just ain't racist folks. Yeah. But we do get uncomfortable. Yeah. So nobody said anything. We just banged a U turn after a while. Yeah. Because it just got so deep and we didn't want to buy any DVDs from anybody. <laughs> By the way, 
<laughs> and my dad is just like, uh, my dad's country folk. He's yeah. like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> the best we ain't doing part this shit. is that in uh, the same guy that dropped me off there. Yeah. The driver. <laughs> he was like, do you need DVDs? And I was like, of what? And he was like, movies, man. Don't you watch movies? And I was like, yeah. He goes, I got a little movie uh, business on the side. Yeah. I bet and I was you like, don't. what is it? And he hands me his Blackberry. Yeah. He's like, scroll through that right there. And it was just hundreds of movies. He's like, here's the deal. You give me 20 bucks a month, and then you give me, you know, five bucks a month after that. I send you four movies. You keep them. And I was like, I don't, like, I was, it was taking me a second to figure out. I was like, so what do you do? He's like, well, I get movies, and then I rip them. I mean, I have, like, he was laying it out there how right. he steals movies. Right. And he was like, a whole bunch of other, your friends, he met, like, comedians. Yeah. He goes, they, uh, they, they subscribed to my business. And yeah, I, I like, bet. I was like, cool, man. He even, he even named like two semi-famous ones. I can go with Netflix uh-huh. or I can go with Jimmy the Limo Driver. <laughs> I, know. And I was like, man. And he's like, I'll send you an email every month. And I was like, yeah, dude. I'm good right now. I got a... Yeah, like how bad do you need movies? I got movies. I got all kinds of movies. Fucking ridiculous, man. He, uh, oh, you don't want to name the guys. But there's two nah, guys you know. Two guys that most people would be like, I know who that is. Just name them. What, what are you scared of? Do you think like, like they're nah, going to get because busted? I, Gallagher <laughs> and right, Gallagher, Chris Tucker. You got both of them. <laughs> Gallagher and Chris Tucker. <laughs> they both do. Yeah. They both do. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, uh, like the most... Like scared I've been in pu- in a public situation. Well, yours is fucking terrible because uh, that there's, there's really no yeah there's no real number two after yeah. that. I mean that's he got robbed in Burbank. Burbank, yeah, yeah. at gunpoint. Uh, Fuck, going outside of a karaoke bar of all places, not even like a fucking. I keep waiting for that by to a guy happen. in a wizard costume. God damn it! Was it on Halloween or was it just like no? Just but that's wizard? what I was for Halloween. I dressed up as the guy that robbed me and my girlfriend. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the middle of the the day. You said no, no. It was, it was like eleven uh, thirty at night. And you hand over your whole wallet or what? Wallet. Uh, girl got her purse t- stolen and her iPhone, which was the worst because yeah. uh, she didn't have anything backed up. She didn't have. She had an iPhone four and was kind of new, and she didn't have that application to get your find your iPhone. So she just lost everything. Right. The worst part. Did I ever tell you what happened to that? She. Uh, she had. So she was. In a contract, but and she bought the iPhone four when it came out, and it was a lot, whatever, four hundred, five hundred dollars because it, that's how much money it was when you you already have a contract. Yeah. And so when she went to, to go to the store to get a new phone after she, we got robbed, they were like, you know what, you're eligible now because you bought that last phone, uh, you know, on a contract, but you're eligible now for a new phone. And she's like, oh great, but the new iPhone four S comes out next week. Um, I'll just get a 3GS, and they, they were like, yeah, you could just return it. And so she gets a 3GS, and then like a week later, uh, right when she's about to go to the store to return it to get the new iPhone, she loses her iPhone in a taxi cab. Man. And like the oh, taxi Jesus. cab pulls away, and I'm running after it like, no, she left her phone in there. Right. Loses that phone. So she had to buy a whole new phone for like $500. Well, oh, welcome, welcome to Carefree Life. There right you here. go. This is if charge. I lose this phone... I just check my wallet and see if I got seventeen dollars. <laughs> is that a and bank I robber phone? Do. This is a free phone. Yeah, this is how he. It's lives, not a man. burner. Oh, okay. I got a plan. Oh, okay. But you've had you. My ex girlfriend like, had fucking burners. Really? For like a year. But you had you. She would just living, like re up every week. That's weird. You've been living that that style there for a while. You've had the. I've had this for two years. See, yeah. Do you ever actually, feel like actually, you're gonna get an iPhone or smartphones just so you can have like yeah, Google Maps and shit? Like sure. That? But in the meantime. I got a GPS in my car. Yeah. I got love in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got it figured out in a way. Full Charge is the guy uh, that kind of just goes like, you know, he doesn't have that, that all the cool shit you get If you get don't with your get phone, used to it, yeah. you don't miss it. He's not stressed by it. Right. I'm just like a step behind. I got a computer. Yeah. I got, uh, Which, hey, by I, the got way, G- I got separate things we talked computers that could all make an iPhone. Yeah. When you were going to get it. What did you end up getting? I got uh, two Toshibas. You got two? But I should have got... Uh, an apple. What made you go with the Toshiba? Because I had a broke girlfriend. Oh, you bought. Oh. <laughs> but I don't have one anymore. Uh. So I should have got the apple. Oh, so she got a computer out of the deal? <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. Then she was gone. Wow. Damn. No, it took six months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you're single, full charge right now. Yeah, I'm half charge. You're, uh, <laughs> you're, but you're looking fucking good, man. Thanks, man. 
Is you, that what single does? Did, did you? Here, here's here's the only thing I can think of that makes you look good. Yeah. When you have a girlfriend, you or a wife, you uh, like every meal is fucking important. Mm -hmm. Every meal is gonna knock your face off your head. Yeah. And um, you usually eat more at restaurants, or you eat just like good food more. Now I just like eat like whatever. Yeah, lean and, pockets. Everybody. And I'm not like trying to kill time when I'm full. I put it back in the fridge. Yeah. And then I eat the rest of it at like dinner. Like you just eat way less. Let's put yeah. it that way. Okay. And I probably drink less too, surprisingly. You're clean Cause shaven? Because I'm, I'm not just sitting around the house as much. Sure. Clean shaven. A lot of times you, yeah. have, you weren't clean shaven all the time. No, but I had the audition today, so I'll, I'll, I'll shave up. And the jacket looks good. Same as the, you know. I know, but. I wear this a lot, still, man. You look fresh. Now, Thanks, how was man. the audition? The audition. How much fun? Do, well, how much do you love auditions first? It was humiliating. <laughs> I hate auditions so much. And I had to drive to Santa Monica in rush hour traffic. Like I had a fucking job or something. Yeah. I got the suit on. It was like, it was like I had a job all of a sudden. It was fucking horrible. Yeah. And then I get there and they're like, they give you like this whole thing to say. And it's like, you got to have this shit memorized. And the guy was a dick. Most of the time they're nice. A lot of times they're dicks. The guy was just like, you guys better have this shit ready. The director does not want you to see you reading off that copy. Blah, blah, blah. And then, like, I got in there and I did it once. And he's like, yeah. you can look at the board, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I just changed it all. I was like, you're supposed to say all the awards that this car got. And I go, this car has gotten tons and tons and tons of awards. <laughs> because, like, if I was going to look at the camera, yeah. there's no way I could list the, of the, course. the awards. Like, so I almost, uh, I never do this. I usually just give it a shot, even though I know it's going to suck. I almost left. Yeah. Just because the guy was such a dick and insisted that it had to be memorized. I got And I know I can't memorize shit. I got really upset one time at a at a commercial audition where they had us it was a, a supposed to be like a, me sitting across the table from a guy and I forget. He lists something and in and in the end I'm supposed to go like just like raise my eyebrows yeah. or something and then and then have a a reaction where like, "Well, that's good to know." And he says, like, his crazy playing, and I just threw in, like, what? Like that? <laughs> yeah. And he laughed. Yeah. And the guy running the camera laughed. He was just, you yeah. know, he's just running the session. Right. They both laugh. He goes, and the guy running the camera goes, that was really funny. He goes, uh, hey, man, don't do that again, okay? <laughs> right. And I go, what? And he goes, don't do that, like that, your little improv there. Yeah. And I go, really? He goes, it's rude. Wow. And I was like, making the spot funnier? Right. I mean, rude? it's not like you went off on a fucking... Yeah. And I was like, wow. And But then you realize those guys, a lot of times that run the sessions, are just, you know, they're they're angry, kind of desperate. They're, they're usually they're, commercial actors. Yeah. And they're they're just upset about everything. And they have control in that moment. And they get to... A lot of times they'll do the... Uh, I've ever been there when they go, all right, guys, uh, we're going to take lunch now. So we're going to be back at one. And everybody there is, is there for like their noon audition. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, we'll be back at one. And then that's like really one thirty. And then you'll see sometimes the actors will be like, I've seen I've seen girl actors lose their shit, be like, I got to get out of here. And they're yeah. like, Well, then you can come back. Like you know, right. We're not going to not have lunch now. Or they'll come out and act like they'll look at the room, and they'll just like look around and be like, Okay. And you turn around, walk in. You're like, What are you doing right now, man? Like they just they love right. playing that role of like a yeah. feeling like director of a feature film, right? When they're running. A, a tampon commercial. Commercial, yeah. A, a casting call. Uh, one time, the camera guy that, like, you know, we went in an audition, and the guy running this, the whole show. Yeah. I saw the commercial when it aired, and it was the fucking camera guy, which means he saw everybody audition, put everybody's shit all together in one big pile of great, and then did, you know, he got to see everybody else's take on it. Yeah. Then wow. he nice got in front style. of the camera, auditioned for it, and got it. Wow. wow, that's just that's fucked and up. I think that shit happens. Like I know somebody that works in right. casting, and they are in a commercial every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's just cast me. You know what the the thing that kills me the most about auditions, and I don't understand why this is hard to do because it finally last week, for the first time in years, happened to me. Is a lot of times if you audition for people that are listening for for television or film you'll get the sides, right? Which are the, the scenes to prepare for. Right. And sometimes you'll get, you know... Nine pages. Yeah. 
11, 13 pages. With monologues and, and shit. And it'll be like, it's, you know, this is scene one, this is scene two, and it'll be like through scene four. And it's just like, hey, prepare these scenes. Yeah. This, this is your audition on Tuesday. So you're like, all right, and you will sit down. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but that's what I do. I prepare the scenes. That's what I do. You show up Tuesday, and you're like, all right, I'm ready to go. And they're like, all right, we're just going to do scene three. You and mother And you're like, fucker. what? Is that in the script? And then you're going like, I memorized the fucking, the, uh, the, the pleading to let me out of prison I looked scene. up words I didn't yeah, know. <laughs> man, I, I got tears ready for this scene. Yeah. Are we not doing this? Yeah. Now we're just going to do scene three. That's the scene where I say like, do you guys got ketchup? And then you guys say no. <laughs> we just and then got I mustard. say, well, I just say, all right, I'll just eat it like this. That's the scene we're going to fucking do? Yeah, I know. And I finally, for the, I mean, I always thought this and I wanted to like, I didn't know who to direct that at. I had a callback for something, which I'm sure I won't get, but I had a callback This for is a callback, man. Shit. Yeah. And I got, um, I got the sides and they said in the side, in the email from the casting director, it says, please prepare only scenes one and three. Right. But they still gave you scene two. Just to fuck you up. Yeah. Just to make sure you're reading. Yep. And I actually went in for that one and there was an actor before me and I hear him in there doing scene two. Yeah. So when I get up and they go, you get in the room and they go, do you have any questions? I go, we're just doing scenes one and three, right? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I go, oh, okay, cool. But like, I don't know why... If they, they have to send you five fucking scenes, if they want you to just do one, it's just, I feel like it's just to fuck with me. I, I, I honestly don't think it's just to fuck with you. Right. As but, much as they were going to have you do all three at yeah, first. But then they and then they didn't want to make another mind. PDF. Yeah. But fuck them anyways, just because I like you more than them. Uh, <laughs> I forget what I was going to say. That's but, all right. Oh, oh, you know what you can do? You can go in there and go, hey, I only prepared scene one. Yeah, yeah. You can do that if you want. Sure. And it kind of works in your favor. Yeah, because then they can't like, go. If they ask you, well, you should have done this. Like, yeah, but I didn't. Do you want to yeah. see how awesome scene one is, though? Yeah, exactly. Because I got that shit down. Like, you can't get hurt for what you... You guys got ketchup? <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> I'm sure he can do the monologue, too. <laughs> he did the one sentence. Oh, shit. My pussy be yanking. What? Oh, man. <laughs> were, you there? were you there for the premiere of that? Yeah, that, that oh, was man, me. Oh, man, that was you. Yeah, that's cool. You guys are responsible. I, I went back to the dentist after I did your podcast. That's what we're talking about right now. Is that what we're talking about? That's what this music's all about, okay. man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I went to the dentist. Tell us. Everything's fine. What? I, I didn't. This is fantastic, yeah. man. Well, I mean, my gums are fucked. Oh, oh okay. But they always were. Did, okay. they, did they do the thing where they checked each gum and gave you a number? Like three. Yeah, four, they did that three. shit. They yeah, did? Yeah, 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 yeah. What were your numbers? They were bad. Uh, so they were like fives? <laughs> no, 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 no. Fives. No. <laughs> He looked at you man. like I don't. <laughs> I don't have AIDS, man. What's no, they you? were like I think they were only like one or two. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. And man. Uh, and the one. Dude, wait. So tell us. Wait. One dude told me I'm gonna have my teeth forever. He was flipping out when he oh, was wait, doing wait, my wait. X-rays. Let's 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 take a step back. Yeah. <laughs> you said now was this really responsible? Did you start thinking about Here, your teeth? Yeah. Here's what happened. I I told you guys last time I developed not really a phobia. Yeah. But just to like. A disdain for dentists. A lot of people have that. Yeah. I just got sick of going and I felt so judged for not being perfect. And, uh, but then when I said out loud that I hadn't been in the dentist in five years, I'm like, it's time. Yeah. Because we're not getting to six. There's no excuse. This show helped you, man. I've got dental insurance. Yeah. Let's fucking do this shit. Also, my ex girlfriend told me she went to a place that she liked and okay. she hated dentists too. Okay. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going. Yeah, I gotta do it. I'm going, and uh, man, I felt I felt better, and so you, I don't have any cavities. You showed nothing. up, and you were you at, were you like I might I might get like horrible news here in about thirty minutes or no? I knew it wasn't. Getting you a, had confidence about. I knew it? I wasn't getting horrible news because yeah. uh, I, I wasn't in any pain. Yeah, <laughs> uh, sure. And I knew any news they gave me, I could just say, "Well, I'm not in pain. Let's see what we can afford." Yeah. You know, they usually just tell you cosmetic shit anyways. So So you basically have a clean bill of dental health. Yeah. I mean, they want me to, like, get some sort of deep cleaning or some shit. Yeah. And you said, fuck it. That's, that's I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. That's what they do nowadays, though. That That's them uh, selling you extra shit you don't need, I found I out. think so. I really no. do. They, so. they tried to do the deep they, cleaning thing to me. They definitely. If do you have that. ones and twos or and and stuff ex- like that. My ex-girlfriend did it, and it's extremely painful, it, yeah, which they, makes they you think. Gums. 
that like it's really not necessary. There's a lot of medical unnecessary shit that happens in LA. All the Dennis, time. that's Dennis. what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep going just because I I kind of like their attitude. That but. fucking uh, I told I think I've told this on an earlier podcast that the uh, the original Extreme Makeover Dennis uh, Dorfman, he's the guy that. He's, he's like Beverly Hills Super Dennis. When I worked for that show, mm-hmm. when I was a logger on that show like eight years ago, they let anybody on the staff like who worked on the show get a teeth whitening there. And I went to his... He wasn't my... Yeah. You know, he was too important to see like But his me. office. But his, his underlings did the whitening and then they were like, do you want us to check out your shit? And I was like, sure. And then they were like, you have like 19 cavities. It's like, it's like going to Jiffy Lube. Yeah, and they just wanted to f- drill into my mouth, and then it turned out at, at the time I didn't have any cavities. Dude, you got to be careful. At the dentist. And they always they tell you, you they always tell you like veneers, yeah. like yeah. extra teeth, you know like, even veneers? if you don't need oh, them. Man. That's L.A. shit, though. It but, is totally. completely L.A. Shit. Which means they chip down your teeth and then put a new tooth on. How's that, how's that going to work? If How's you, that going to last? I know so many people with veneers, though. Everybody's got them. It's crazy. Because they look great. Yeah. <laughs> I did something on accident this week, uh, dentally, that was really fun in a way. Like, I didn't realize it. Um, is that we had you know dental floss at home in the bathroom, and then I have one in my travel case. And since I travel so much, I usually, you know, I'll take it out of my suitcase, and I'll put it in the bathroom, mm-hmm. and I just take it back. It just goes bathroom back and forth, right? So when I was going to leave last week, I took... I have a dental floss in my travel case, and then there's one that sits in the bathroom. I took both, mm-hmm. and so Christina was oh. without dental floss, and she's very, very like she's got to have it. She's got to have it, and so she was very upset. So she didn't floss for a few days. Why so, didn't she just like use her own hair? I don't understand. Where was she? She was at your apartment. Yeah, she could have gone to a Seven Eleven. Is like it's right, right there. there. It's right there. It is expensive though. Uh, Hate but to take your side again. But. If you want to uh, on Twitter, you should. Um, you should write to at Christina P. Hey, I, I can't believe you don't floss anymore. <laughs> yeah. You're such a dirty girl. Yeah. Use your own hair at least. Yeah. Dirty girl. So I got to get some information, uh, dental update. There's okay. uh, so guys over uh, at UCLA. I uh, forgot about this part. Uh, what? <laughs> I forgot where you show pictures of people rotten to death. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, saw, some, we actually... saw some fucked up ones recently. <laughs> this uh, some, so, some guys at UCLA have... Uh, created a thing it's like a smart bomb mouthwash okay. and what it is it's in experimental phases right now but what it, it looks like is that you could pretty much go to the uh use this mouthwash once a week or once every four or five days and it just targets cavities and it just destroys them awesome. and they're, they're, they're saying that it's like a 99 percent. here's the article right here uh, it's like ninety nine percent or a hundred percent. It kills all the. A new is it on the market or no? No, they're they're still testing it. Wow. And it, 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 what it does is it just targets the the bad shit and it destroys it. And that's uh, great. Dentists are going to put a stop to that. Of shit. course, yeah, man. That, the first person on this article uh, yesterday was uh, you know like I said I'm a dentist. This is going to be put right into the dentist's office. You know they're going to make you come there. You know and only go to the dentist to do it. It will never go to the the actual market where you can just buy it as a mouthwash, sure. which is bullshit. Because of if, course, but well, you know, give it a hundred years. You know, yeah, yeah give it a hundred. It'll be years. out there. Yeah. You know what I was just thinking um, reminded me when you said. Uh, like feeling threatened on the street. Did you ever try to be a hero to somebody? Have you ever tried to save somebody? I, I have saved somebody, but not what? From, not from violence. What from? Uh, some girl was just like I just saw her like sitting on the sidewalk. She wasn't a girl. She was like maybe thirty five or something. This yeah. is like ten years ago. And me and this other dude who didn't who I didn't know. This is in Venice. I just walked up to her, and I'm like, are, are, like, are you okay? What's wrong? And she's like, I, I can't. I don't know. I, I can't walk. I just lost control of, like my legs. Whoa. And I'm like, well, where do you live? And she's like. Right up there. So me and this guy help her to her apartment. Is this here in L.A.? Yeah, this is in Venice. Okay. Like right on Abbott Kinney. Okay. And uh, and uh, over the <laughs> and then like while we're helping her, she's like, yeah, I, just, I, I was in AA, but I, I went out to the beach and got drunk and she showed us her empty like bottle. Yeah. You know, like a Jameson bottle. I wasn't really computing that like maybe she was too drunk to walk or maybe it had like some kind of physical effect on her. Yeah. That she drank a whole bottle of whiskey. <laughs> And then we like we we brought her in her apartment and she didn't want us to leave. And then we just like we just fucking left and I'm like Whoa. If she dies, like Yeah. Am I in trouble? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess you would be. Yeah. Right? A little bit? Probably. I mean not you shouldn't be, but I was like, You gotta call an ambulance. I kept telling her, You gotta yeah. call an ambulance. 
you know, you're you can't walk. I uh, you gotta call on it because I didn't really think it was because of the alcohol. I'm yeah. like, you gotta call on it, but she wouldn't do it, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to call the ambulance on her. I did. I had a similar, a kind of similar thing, where I was I was actually in Spain. I was studying abroad. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm in Madrid, and I I'm in like a plaza, and there's these five girls sitting down, and there's a guy who is standing over them, yelling as intensely at like ah! yeah like that, like and he's he looks I mean he's full of rage yeah they're all crying, and I'm I'm staying with a friend, and from a distance you just kind of look and you're like. They don't know that guy. Right. Like you can just kind of put it together. Yeah. Like that guy is just menacing and threatening them and they're yeah. too scared to get up. Right. So I don't know what came over me, but I walked over to them and without like, you know, just in the moment, I just said, I didn't know them. I go, hey, like, what's up? Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Right. And they all picked up on it. Yeah. And they were like, hey. And I, so I said hello to all of them. Yeah. I like gave them like the, the, yeah. the kiss on the cheek. Like, right. we got to go. Wow. And uh, That's the fun part. And then he turns and he's like, looked at me like, I mean, he looked crazy. Like, he was yeah, high. Yeah, he yeah, crazy. Yeah. And he was like, what? And I was like, we got to go. I was like, sorry, man. We don't have room for another one. We just. <laughs> We'd love to have a fucking yeah, same like, person be, shouting at us all It'd be fun there. if you could come, but we, we don't have room in the car. We only got six seats in the car. And then he went on this rage like like you know i don't know monologue to me about like his brother or cousin died in some battle uh-huh and i just kept nodding i was cool like, man I was that's like, my problem too i was like we yeah. gotta go i go I'll, I'll think about that man i'll think about that a lot and he was like he was like yeah he died and i was like it's unbelievable yeah and then we I, and I realized that like my heart was racing like sure right now he might be like and that's why you're gonna die right you know but he just no. finally accepted it and walked away yeah and then I turned to them and they all just like broke out crying even louder right and I was like everybody okay and they were like yeah like fucking, <laughs> and like not really a thank you like they kind of they were yeah like, they were just too overwhelmed they were too overwhelmed and then I walked away and I was like why did I just fucking do that right <laughs> like I I did it because I saw that they looked terrified right. yeah and I, and I you know i didn't really want to be the hero but i kind of yeah but myself were you into, smart about it like i mean you thought of a fucking plan i thought of a plan and well actually what i realized what was amazing was my plan was kind of um hey act like you know them yeah but what surprised me was how they all tuned in to it so like these people i've never met yeah they all played the part of like, right they're like yeah it's good to see you like yeah Cause, well, because it was good to see you. Well, whether, right. Whether they know you or not. <laughs> that's true. It's yeah. like, oh, here's someone that's not fucking crazy. Yeah. who probably won't kill us. Right, yeah. And I, It's I, good to see you. It's good to see you, man. And I was like, you guys ready to go? And they're like, yeah. I was like, we got to go dancing. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it was terrifying, though. Um, any hoodles? Do you have one of those? Do you have a hero story? Uh, Do you ever stop anybody from happening like that? I hope uh, not, because my hero story turned out to be shit. No, <laughs> it was great. That was great. <laughs> I was, tr- I was trying to think of something. I can't. I'll, I'll think of it. I don't know. I was trying to think of the most. You know, it's I've funny been. because it, probably if it was like two dudes, you'd be like, "Those are just two crazy dudes." Yeah. But like to see that many girls scared of somebody, you know, they were scared to up. stand up. Man. Yeah. They were scared, and he was over them, going back and forth, like, ah, yeah, ah, like in their faces, screaming. What was crazy was that this plaza was full of hundreds of people, yeah, and nobody gave a shit. Right. And I just happened to catch it. And then stare for a minute and then go like, this is just a guy raging at them. Yeah. They don't, you could tell he was drunk or fucked up. Right. So that's why they were more like, I don't know what's going to happen to us next. But everybody else was like, I'm going to let that shit go. Which is normally what you do. Yeah. Like when you see crazy shit, you know, you're like, I'm none gonna, of my business. That's not mine <laughs> right. to, to talk about. Mm-mm, I'm going to keep on walking. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. That's what. That's uh, just a guy keeping his hose in check. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> which he totally could have been. But he was really upset about his brother dying in a right. war. Right. Which was obviously their fault. Totally. Those girls killed his brother in that battle. There was a dude on Hermosa Pier, like this homeless dude that would just like every five seconds just scream and hit the rail. Just like, ah, boom, like that. And like, and one dude, everyone was just kind of like, oh, dude, just get away from him. Oh, man. One dude go, <laughs> went over to him and was like, dude, you got to take your crazy out of here. <laughs> like, you got to get away. It was like a holiday. Yeah. And there was tons of people. Uh, it Did was he move? Just, he just moved further down the, the <laughs> rail and just started doing it started some more. Doing it further. And I think he was just like that jacked up on something. Sure. And that's just terrifying. You know what's amazing is how how much it can work when you say when you're direct like the guy was to that guy. Yeah. 
So many times people just don't want to have that. But if you just go, you got to take your bullshit somewhere else. Right. A lot of times people are like, okay. I kicked a, kid, I kicked a fucking high school kid out of my, like my garage area of my apartment building. Yeah. It was like, I'm not used to being an adult. We're on like an extended adolescence in this comedy life. Yeah. But I walked down and I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing, dude? And he's like, you know, he just shrugs. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you can't hang out here. You got to get going. And, and then like, I would check and he just like moped off. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm an adult. Feels good, right? <laughs> it kind of does. I did it at a Kenko's. Because he's just listen to me. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You got to be direct. That, yeah, I, I, it's exactly. That you didn't dance around it. Yeah, I was like, you can't hang out. If you here, had dude, looked you at him, go. and if you were like, uh, and uh, wanted maybe to say that, five yeah. minutes yeah. from now, maybe you could leave. No, you got to go. Yeah. I did that at a Kinko's to a lady who, um, this is when uh, I didn't have a computer or internet. Mm -hmm. It's like Hollywood days. Yeah. You know, a few quite a few years ago, but uh, a lady answered the phone. I think I was like typing up a resume or something mm -hmm. and she did the whole like she goes like hello yeah this is Allie well I'm and I I was like after like 10 seconds of that like everybody else and me yeah. we were looking at each other and I did the whole like lady lady <laughs> and she turned and I was like are you really doing this right now and she was like her eyes just right. bugged out of her head and I yeah. was like we're not at your office yeah and she was like I'll call you back and right. then like like clicked out and was like ah, like talked to herself like yeah what an asshole and right like, right and everybody's like, like yeah you are an asshole yeah, you are a fucking asshole um I got a couple uh uh would you rathers oh shit um I feel like you weren't here for a couple of the original. I don't think I've ever played this okay on tape well <laughs> we're gonna play a couple a couple of the classics Okay. Um, that some of our listeners are, are familiar with. Okay. Because we want to know what the full charge would do. Sure. Okay. So um, keep in mind, audience, I only have two options. Right. <laughs> These aren't things I came up with that I wanted to do. Um, so we'll go with last week's first, kind of work in reverse order. Okay. Last week's is, would you rather have a burp, right? <laughs> you would burp. Ridiculous. I'm with you. Once a day. Yeah. Um, but... The smell of your burp is really intense. It okay. smells like diarrhea. Right. Like really strong. Right. Probably tastes bad too. It tastes really bad. But it's so it, bad that like people can smell it all over. Yeah, the no, place. you're oh, not yeah. gonna get away with it. it. it right. It's the equivalent of you you shit yourself. Right. People aren't gonna like you if they smell this burp. And it lasts two and a half hours. Ooh. So that's how long the smell lasts. And it's really intense. Okay. Okay. Or you burp every hour on the half hour every hour half past the hour yeah it's a 30 second burp okay where while you burp you have you you say <laughs> cunt you go cunt 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 cunt, uh, cunt 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 so you say right. cunt like 30 times yeah and your eyes bleed okay so you have like uh, blood tears all right well i like these choices already I, yeah. I feel like i could go with either one yeah but i uh, mean there's pluses and minuses to, i don't know if there's pluses but there's definitely there's you know, outweighing minuses to each one. I'm going to have to go with the horrible stenchy burp once a day. Really? Because I, I, think, I, could, uh, I think I could work around that better. What about relationships, dating? It's going to be tough. It's going to be but tough. But I know if I went out on a first date, yeah. I only got a half hour window, window before I'm saying the C word. Right. And I'm not recovering And your eyes are that. bleeding. Right. Yeah, so you have like, tears coming down. And I thought, I thought of something, we were talking about this over yeah. the weekend, I thought of something about that too. Like if you have it, say like you woke up and you had it early in the morning, yeah. then you know you have the whole day too. So there's something about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, especially with my lifestyle. If I wake up in the morning and I just like write or pretend to write for like two and a half hours, <laughs> right. I could just... Uh, and you, with your shit mouth. Yeah, with my shit mouth. And then it's just uphill. I mean, or downhill. You know it's, it's not gonna, easier. Right, you know that. it's not easier. Right, you know it's not going to happen the rest of the day. Right. But I got to be honest, I, I wouldn't want either one of these things. No, they're not good. <laughs> they're not good. But that's what I would pick. Okay. I think it's easier to work around, even though it's more disgusting. Um, here's a, a holiday one in this period. This is Thanksgiving week, which is Happy Thanksgiving, by the happy way. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving happy to you. Yeah. Tom. I'm very thankful for both of you. Um, so here's, a, here's one for you. This is one of our classics as well, and we'd really love to hear your, your thought on this. It's Christmas morning. All right. The whole full strong clan is together. Oh shit! You're with parents, brother, any cousins, grandparents if they're around, oh, uncles wow. and aunts. Okay. You're all together. Everybody alive. You're all together. You just had some orange juice and some coffee. Stressed out already. <laughs> and you're about to open presents, and everybody goes, "Let's open presents." Yeah. So you get near the Christmas tree, and you go, "Hold on, I got to do something first. 
you take everybody away from presents, even though they really want to open them. Yeah. And you go and you sit in front of the television and you set, and you put on a DVD. Okay. okay. Now the DVD, you have to choose one of these, these two okay. options. It is either you are standing there and 10 homeless women yeah. masturbate in front of your face and they squirt on your face. Okay. Mm-hmm. But they do like a screaming. Right orgasm while they while they do it and they're they're very and they're yeah. very homeless so like their squirts are very sour yeah, yes. yeah, yeah and yeah. they go like they and do disease filled they do yeah. like uh, like yeah. one of those things yeah insane insane yeah. coming insane coming and it squirts on you okay and this is everybody's watching okay right. 10 women do this one at a time i'm okay. gonna go ahead and pick that now no i'm just <laughs> kidding <laughs> <laughs> or wasn't there something more to that though it seems like there was something more to that was there not just squirting on you because that seems easy like who cares no that was it man remember because it was bukkake and we and we that was for women and then we switched it to w- for women for guys that just seems too easy really like homeless people squirting on your face that seems like who cares i would love i'd be well, proud of that i mean to change it for men is going to lessen it severely because yeah. 10 homeless guys coming on a woman's face that's great. it's completely degrading yeah. and like you know there's no good reason for her, for my daughter. <laughs> no, <laughs> and going and there, this. there's no good reason for this either. Yeah, no, just my family would be disappointed. So uh, <laughs> it's still it's not something I want to pick. Okay, right. okay. Well, I'm I'm, I'm want to hear my other option. Right, you, you know what I'm saying? You're though? saying it's like, there's something I, else. I'm, I, well, I'm saying it's like if if fucking homeless women are squirting my face. Yeah, that's disgusting. But that's yeah. not like. I, I would be like, oh, isn't that cool, Dad? I got a bunch of pussy juice all over my face. Uh, yeah. I would you know, it'd almost that. be like it'd be better if they shit on your face and then you had to, I don't know, pull a fish out of her pussy and eat it. Hold Each, on. Each, like, ten different fish. Let's Hold say, on. Let's say all those things. <laughs> let's, let's dial it I back guess. a little bit. <laughs> this is Christmas morning we're talking about, guys. <laughs> right. Okay, so. That's what makes it so that's, severe. That's what's on DVD number one. Okay. Ten homeless women right. masturbating, squirting on your face. Okay. Okay. DVD number two, which you can put in if you want. This is the whole family there. Stressed out, man. You remember, the whole family is there. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm with you. Is you masturbating until completion? On the fucking DVD? Yeah. See, that to me is just too Well, easy. just let them let think about it. Uh... It's either you until completion, right, or, or ten or homeless, homeless people on your face until complete to completion. And and am I am I jerking off while the homeless women are? No, there? it's just it's just you sitting there. In a then I'm room. just gonna take the pussy juice. Yeah, you are. Who yeah, because like that's a not, lot of people. That's have not it. really me doing anything. I'm a victim. I feel like I'm a that's victim. An in interesting that perspective. Uh, I, that, I've heard that argument. Where if I put in, and you got to remember, it's me putting this DVD you in, put it in and hitting play. So it's like, hey, everybody, I want you to see this. <laughs> I gotta right, be. Gotta I would. See. I would never forgive myself. And you can't let like your uncle or grandparents be like, if they're like, I'm gonna get some biscuits out of the. You gotta be like, no, 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 no. no you got here. to you, see you this. Have to see I this. want you to see this. It's the most important <laughs> thing in the world. If it's me jerking off, right? I got no alibi, right? And you guys remember, in a few minutes is presents. Yeah, and it's it's arrogant on top of it all. Yeah, it's arrogant and insane. It pretty but much I can is. put a spin on the other one. Like, I, I didn't get anybody a present because <laughs> yeah. I'm traumatized. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can make that work for me. So, just for the record, Matt, the full Tron, the full charge, full Tron <laughs> has opted for ten homeless women. Now, Red Band, you're fucking me up, thinking that there's another thing going on in this. this well, point. it seems like that is just too easy. Like, no, this is the it's one not. That, this pussy juice. There's, like, the cool. one that, no. there's nothing easy you're, about that. You're confusing it. You're confusing the fact that when we first put it out there, I, well, I see it was the, 10 homeless guys because it was, I think, directed, the question was directed to Christina. A girl, yeah. And it see, was, to me, that's, a ho- that's horrible. Yeah, like, but it like still getting, hurt me to pick wait, that. I mean, it's not like... If the option was... Even was, though I know it's not going to happen. I think it should be 10 homeless guys coming on his face or masturbating. Yeah, you should switch it to 10 homeless it guys. It should always be well, guys masturbating. I thought masturbating. we switched it. Okay, fine. Then I would pick jerking off. You would? You really would? But you're still a victim in the other scenario. Yeah, but I don't want to be that kind of victim. <laughs> All right. You know what? I would still it pick. It changes it. He's right. I admit guilt. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take it back. Yeah. Same question. Let's just hope we never have to go through this shit, guys. <laughs> without, without, without just. I'm not, I'm telling you what, I'm not even making the tapes, so I never have to go through this shit. But just to be clear now. Yeah. Just to be clear. I want yeah. everybody to know this. Yeah. It's a 10 homeless bukkake. Yeah. Right? 10 homeless guys right. on your face in a video. I'm saying Or no. you jerking off. I, I would like, I would shave my back. But which is I would it going to be? I'd get in shape. 
Is it going to be the jerking it's off? It's going to be the jerking off. <laughs> wow. So you would make yourself look even I, better for your parents. I make it a good, make it a good video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a hard thing to, to watch with the whole family, though. Right. Because you're, you're doing it to, to completion. And then I'll just say something like, well, this video is making me rich. <laughs> I just wanted you to know how I can afford the presents you're about to open. Yeah. It's because of this video. That yeah. could be a spin that yeah. you take, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be like, and I would wait do one till of you the... see the DV, the... But I would still pick, I would still pick jerking off over getting jerked off on by 10. Really? By 10 homeless men. Yes. I would do it. Because just... my family would blame me. Really? I'd be like, you could run away. Yeah. I would masturbate really quick, too. I'd do one of those, like, all right, think of the best I'd thing wait, ever. Yeah, I'd just, wait, like, like masturbate 30 seconds. eight days, yeah. and then just fucking, <laughs> boom! Uh, <laughs> Wait for the mood to strike, <laughs> then turn the camera on. Okay. Well, <laughs> you this, know what I mean? Not forcing anything. This presents an interesting one to think about. Um, would you rather have... Oh, no. I knew one. This yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, this is just simple, silly, but would you rather have one hand... Oh, man. ...that has... You have... <laughs> <laughs> you have one Such hand. Such a bummer. You have one hand that has 10 fingers on it. Okay. Okay. You have no other hand. All right. So you just have one and it has 10 fingers yeah. and it's capable of doing everything you need to do. Okay. And you can do it well. Right. Or, but it's still, it looks obviously. It looks weird. Everybody's always like, <laughs> everybody's always like, hey. How'd you get that hand? What's up with those 10 fingers? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's your other hand? Right. Which people are animals. They will ask you about they that They will. Shit. Yeah. I hung out. All right. Anyway. Um, or would you rather have one foot? Yeah. Wait. I'm not answering yet. But it's a super I'm foot. I'm bummed out. Okay. It's a super foot. It doesn't yeah. have 10 toes, but you can run really fast and you can hop. Like you, you have like a 50-inch vertical. Like you can dominate basketball games. Really? Like, yeah. Well, it sounds like I got a lot of balance with this foot too. Yeah, you, you're, you're just I can get around on this you're foot. You're incredibly skilled, but you got one. You only got one. I'm picking the foot. You're doing the one foot? It's easier yeah, on the eyes. so easy. It's easier on the so eyes. So easy. Yeah. Why? Because it's easier on the eyes and you have superpowers. With the ten fingers, I'm just doing everyday shit. Yeah, it's like oh, this is a little disclaimer. Like oh, you can still do stuff. This super foot. Yeah, I'm fucking dunking a basketball. Yeah, you are super foot. Super. Oh, see, I would go with hand. I would go with regular hands and super foot. Yeah. Oh, oh no, go, it's all good. Yeah. Same oh, okay, thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't go with ten. Because it, you're, you're, I'm sitting down most of the time, anyways. You know, so <laughs> right. I want my my hands, and then you know, if I was, if I have but these one, ten these ten fingers on this one hand are really capable. Yeah, but imagine having one. F- or, I mean, I just hope it never comes to this. One arm just seems sucky. You wanna, one, well, you know what I mean. Like you, you need two hands. Think about just when you do shit, like when you run your fingers across the table like this. How much fun that would be. <laughs> You know or, what I mean? when you oh, do but like, you don't I'm have another waiting, hand. I was going to say, you could shred the axe. This is taking a do while. You, you guys are taking a while to bring me my, my change. <laughs> and people are like, are those 10 fingers? Yep, sure are. Did you guys know that comic, real nice guy, but he has elephantitis of the hand? What? He has... So he has this, there's this comic that has both of his hands, but one hand's really bad. His hand is about four times bigger than a normal hand. It looks like wait, he's of normal stature and size. Normal, he looks normal. He actually looks like uh, uh, that guy from the Lord of the Rings, the the, the hob, the main guy, uh, Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. He looks like Elijah Wood. But one of his hands it, it is just humongous. Like it looks like those Hulk gloves that you could buy when the Hulk movie came out that like made yeah. noises like Smash Hulk. Like it's just a huge mm-hmm. glove. And it sucked because uh, I was running like some open mics uh, at Sal's really? com- Comedy Club. And he would come up. And the first time I saw it, uh, I, 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 he was like leaning on this chair. And I'm like, all right, that is definitely a glove that he's wearing. Yeah. And he's going to do a bit about it because he's, you know – kind of drawing attention to it because you know he didn't have it like on his side he's like holding this chair yeah and but i never said anything about it and then you know a couple other comics like after him were like what's up with that dude's hand what was that crazy glove he's wearing man that's crazy you can take that thing off now and like and and it was the most uncomfortable was he there yeah he was in the room yeah it was the most uncomfortable shit in the world and so then lately later we found out it was like elephantitis and stuff like that felt bad the girl felt bad she was like almost crying and was like and then like a week later the same exact thing happened another comic goes dude you see that guy's fucking gloves that guy that's creepy dude that's a creepy 
he, he wears a glove? No, no it just looked just like think. a glove. And so people kept oh. on like saying shit about it. And Does he address it on stage? No. No. And, and that, that's what I said. He should, address, he should have his whole act should be uh, like, you know, about masturbating, about fingering girls. He, does he shake your hand with that hand? Uh, I never did. I did always did like the fist bump thing, you know, like, hey. It's a massive it. hand? Huge hand. Like, re, like seriously, like that big. And it looks like a glove. Yeah, each finger is like like that. Like it just looks like a really like a half a cucumber. Like it's it's and it wow. it looks like a fake hand. Wow. Like it looks like CGI. I feel so bad for the guy, but he's a pretty funny guy, and he kind of you know it, the more I got to know him, he kind of jokes about it a little bit. You know, yeah. Like I don't think he's too hurt about it, but it is the most uncomfortable thing in the world seeing somebody yeah. just going off on it. Cause I it, feel it, like that's like the yeah. only real problem with it is that like. People can't deal with it. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And that's why I chose Superfoot. I don't <laughs> think people could deal with my 10 figure hand. Yeah, it would be difficult. I mean, they'd see your one foot and, and people would still look at you and say things like, oh man, like. Even if you're like, oh, like you don't want to drink when you go out to dinner or like, oh, I'm not, or I'm not eating fucking steak right now. People can't deal with that. Yeah. If you do anything different, Think about people throwing fucking a, flip out. What about throwing a punch with that with that ten finger in hand though? <laughs> it seemed very squishy. <laughs> yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty intense, right? Yeah. What about oh man. Okay. See, what ifs are more fun than reality. <laughs> <laughs> what that's too bad. Maybe that dude, uh, if he just really made a big that a big part of his act. Well, he's cancel. got to. He has yeah. to. It's kind of like I worked with a, a couple oh, you know the guy, Nick, that little 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 guy? Uh huh. Nick Novicki. Yeah. He came, Very funny guy, man. That dude is hilarious. Well, we were. I was in Vancouver this past weekend, which, by the way, fucking, again, just the best time. A lot of Death Squatters there, you said. A lot of Death Squad and Joe Rogan fans and uh, your mom's house listeners at the uh, Comedy Mix last weekend, which is just one of my absolute favorite places to work. But uh, it was awesome. I want to thank all of you that did come out. That was really a blast. Um I got an email from Nick, and he's shooting a movie in Vancouver. So he was like, can I come and do a spot? And I was like, yeah, man, you know, come by and do a guest spot. So he did. He did a guest spot Saturday night. He did great, crushed. Uh, they loved him. But it's one of those things where, like, he's a little guy, right? I mean, he's, he's just, you know, I don't mm-hmm. know, four feet tall or something. Right. And uh, Do you still like do thing. your little guy bit? Well, it was funny. We uh, <laughs> This was... <laughs> This was the worst, man. This was the worst. So he tells me he's going to come by Saturday, right? Yeah. I tell, I tell the, uh, the guys at the club, and my buddy's coming to do a guest spot, and they're like, okay. And Friday, after the first, I'd done a show Thursday, and a show Friday, I hadn't done my, my midget joke anymore. Yeah. And I, the, the thing they didn't realize is that, like, I just don't do it anymore. Right. It's like one of those things you just get tired of. Yeah. You just drop it, right? Yeah. So I just dropped it, and one of the one of the guys at the club, actually two of them, go, "Hey, how come you don't do the? I haven't heard you do the midget joke. You're not doing it." And I go, "No, nah, I'm not doing it." And they're like, "Why not?" And I was like, "I'm just bored, man. I just, yeah, you know, when you just can't, you can't even feign the excitement of saying a joke. Right, like, I just, right. I'm just done with it. Come on, man, just do it." <laughs> and I was like, "They're like, so you won't do it?" I go, "It's not that I won't do it. It's just that like, right. I'm just tired. I'm of just doing not it. gonna do it." And they're like. So will you? I'm like, if you're asking me to do it, like, for you, like you want to see it, yes, I'll right, do it. Right. And then they're like, or do it tomorrow. And I go, I'm not doing it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, uh, they go, why not? Yeah. And I go, because my friend that's coming to do a, a yeah. guest spot, he's a little dude, you right? Know? Like, and they're like, oh, really? So you don't want to say a midget jokes from him? I was like, not really. No, man. it's just not. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do that. So they're like, well, so will you do it tonight? I go, fine, I'll fucking do it tonight. So. I do it uh, in like the middle. I was doing it was second show, late show Friday. Yeah. I do it in the middle of my set. Like right. I just throw it in there, finish the set. I go and I they have me set up at like a table and I'm selling my my album. Right? Yeah. And uh, then one of the like uh, staff comes by and goes, "Hey Tom, uh, your friend's here." And I go, "What friend?" Oh. And they're like no. they're like little guy. And I was like, "Ah, oh, oh, man." <laughs> So no, the, has he ever seen gets, that bit before? By the way, Do you he know? saw. I, I found out that he'd seen it on television. He hadn't oh, seen it live. That's cool. So he goes, uh, he walks up, and I go, "What's up?" And then he goes, "Hey, man!" And I go, "What's going on?" And he goes, uh, "He goes, I don't, uh, he goes, not much." And I go, uh, "I go, 
so uh how you doing and he goes fine when'd and you I, get here and i, I go i go <laughs> that's exactly what i said next i go when did you get here and he goes uh like 10 minutes ago after and the I, third midget right no he goes he goes like 10 minutes ago and i go okay and he goes hey so like why is everybody looking at me and i go <laughs> I go, I don't know, because you're three feet tall. What are you fucking talking <laughs> right, about? Right. And he's like, no, but everybody's really looking at me. And I was like, ah. and then I was just like, look, man, you, I, I just, I did this joke and I showed right. him, I was like, it's, you know, this midget joke. And he was like, oh, I didn't hear it. And I was like, I didn't even have to fucking tell you. I could have gotten away <laughs> yeah. without telling you. You could have gotten away with yeah. me. Like, you're paranoid, dude. Yeah. And he was just like, oh. let's have a drink. So then I told him the whole story, and then, uh, you know, he laughed about it. And then he was like, well, tomorrow when I do my guest spot, I'm going to do midget jokes, but from the other side. Right, right. And I was like, great, because then what I'll do is I will follow you yeah. and do my midget joke ex- right after you do yours. Right. And it'll be fun that way, because you'll kind of take the, like, the bite, like, you were just there. Yeah. So. And he was like, great. And it, it fucking killed. That's yeah, awesome. That's good. He's a great guy. But it made me think of when you were saying the guy with the hand is the fact that like Nick and other like comics that are little dudes, like they, they all, they address it. They don't have to do your whole act as it, but if you don't address it, it's like, I don't know. It's like really. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, cause like any comic addresses anything that's different. If with it's them. physically something that's yeah. so different and you just are like, I'm not going to address it. I feel like in a way you can kind of be like, hey, like if they pull it off really well, you can go like, that's amazing. You don't even talk about the thing that everybody right. sees. But it really does take that, that like kind of like under the breath murmuring out of the room. Yeah. If you finally go like, hey, yeah, I know. One I joke. Yeah. One joke. Yeah. You don't have to do an hour. Seconds. You don't have to do an hour of it. But if you just address it and then you kind of kill, you know, the fact that it's there and that somebody, I wish he would say like, what's up with right. that dude's fucking head right now? You know, like. Yeah. You fucking kill that, and then an elephant would he he can make this like the funniest shit ever because it's so unique. And there's did you so call ma- it, do you call him elephant? Or I mean elephant? Elijah Wood or oh. whatever the guy's name is. Elephant. <laughs> elephant. <laughs> elephant. <laughs> if elephant did this shit, no, but it, there's so many. Like I I remember me and the other comics at that that night we were talking about the exact same thing, yeah. and we wrote this guy 30 minutes. We were all just sitting around stone, just writing jokes, jokes for this guy, him, yeah. and it would have been the funniest shit ever. Yeah, yeah, you got. I think you got to address it. That, that's a good thing. That is a nice angle. He said, "Hey, why were you making fun of me for an hour? I wasn't making fun of you. I was writing jokes for you." Yeah. <laughs> I'm you your can fan, use all that man. shit, yeah. dude. I'm just looking out for you, man. <laughs> I don't write shit for me. I write shit for you, man. Yeah. Um, one. Uh, let me ask you one more. Okay. See if you have fun with this or not. Okay. Would you rather <laughs> come? Yes. Ten times a day. Wow. That's a lot, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, how many times a day? A little above uh, average. How many times a day can you max? Like, would you... Would you can hit? I? Well, or yeah. What's, I your, can, what's your max? I can do three. And, and more than that, you probably have, but that's a sad day, right? That's a, that's a day you don't feel well. I don't think I've ever done more than three. Ever? Really? I don't think oh, so. In yeah, your you whole should, life? You should try it just to do uh, it. For masturbation, no. I think probably four. With sex? Yeah. Okay, but you know the fourth one is just like going yeah, through the motions. It's, it's dust. There's nothing really yeah, happening. Yeah, it's not a lot. Or shit, time ten times a day. Shit, ten times a day, or come ten times a day. Right, I really come ten for times. a month. It's it's for, for a month. A month? Why can't it be forever? No, nah, it's too much. It's forever. just it's come month. The come tober. Yeah. But wait, ten times. Think about it. you have to deal. You don't just get to enjoy the feeling of. The, oh, I have to do it. You have to deal with the fact that you're 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 ejaculating ten times a day. And what that would feel like. Imagine working out number five, six, I, I seven. I would do it, and, and it's only because, to me, they're the same fucking thing almost. Really? When you're by yourself. Yeah. They're both a huge relief. Yeah. But I don't have to wipe my dick. See, oh, And man. it would tear my ass up to shit ten times a I day. I think your logic is flawed. Yeah? I, I'm going to go with shit, yeah. Because I, I would be, I mean, I know that I would physically be really much more falling apart coming 10 times a day Uh uh-huh headaches stomach Uh, i think i would be i think i would have like a fever after like the first day right and i think i would my body would just break down well i'm looking at it as if i got 10 nuts in me (laughs) right that it's not going to exhaust me as much okay that's how i'm looking at it it's day after day you don't know i know like every hour in the hour pretty much pretty much you gotta go in the bathroom pretty close take care of it crank one out 
You would Ho- need some. Hopefully, extra. you don't burp every half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> On top what if of it you all, have, wait, no, cunt, you, cunt, cunt. You have to jerk off <laughs> while you're doing the, the cunt burp. This like ultimate challenge, <laughs> and your eyes bleed. <laughs> ultimate challenge. What would you do? The eye bleeding is the worst part. I that think. is the worst. <laughs> and you're so, <laughs> so it's you have nothing. This, you have and this, you wipe it with this huge hand. <laughs> you have this amazing feeling. You're feeling so good. You're like you just wipe it with cunt, ten cunt, fingers. <laughs> Your eyes are bleeding. It's like, like you made oh. all the wrong decisions in this game, <laughs> and go. now you have to deal with it. <laughs> go. I feel mm. so good. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> ah, now I'm crying blood. <laughs> I should have oh. never played that game with Tom. This has to be the most childish podcast that's available on the internet. Well, that's what's good about it. Let's talk about. We're not mommies today. We're uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> mommies away. Let's talk about this because I wanna I wanna address this real quick. Um, being that you're here right now, I'm totally here. You have a new podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called The Crab Feast. The Crab Feast, and it's with our good friend Ryan Sickler. Yeah, a couple of Maryland boys. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the general? What's the gist? Is it just talking shit? Like, what do you guys? What's uh, the jizz of it? What's the jizz of it? The jizz of it is ten times a day. Ten times uh, a day, bitch. It's like slightly Maryland angle, just because like me and Ryan are there. You get but the we, Ravens up a lot? Our best thing so far is, we, yeah, they argue over skins and Ravens because we got a guy from Virginia there, too. You have a third guy? Yeah. Our biggest thing is... Who's the third guy? Uh, my friend Randy Bobby. He's not a comic. Okay. And that's like kind of our angle. Like We don't really talk shop yeah. comedy-wise, uh, but we still try to be... F- and we're not, it's not like a rule. No, of course. But like, uh, we don't talk shop comedy. And our best feature so far, we're still feeling it out. Sure. We've only done four, three, really. Uh, uh, we got this guy that reviews movies. Yeah. And he's the most inarticulate motherfucker from West Virginia. Really? You ever met in your life. Like, he's just so bad at it. We have yeah. to walk him through the movie review. Oh, that's great. And give it a listen. It's on Toad Hop Network. It's, I can't really describe I it. I love those guys over there. Yeah, they're cool, man. So, um, Toad Hop, that, how do we find it? You go to iTunes or? It's toadhopnetwork.com, but you okay. can also get the Crab Feast on iTunes. Okay. Who's the, is the reviewer a comic or no? He's not no, a, he's not. He's just this guy, guy we've known forever. My friend Randy's known him since high school. He used to be like uh, my roommate and Randy's roommate. Okay. And he's just like, I don't want to talk shit about him because he's the best part of our podcast. Sure. But he's kind of a brick and he can't put, he's not stupid. He just can't really put it. Yeah, some two, people just... He just can't put two sentences... We'd be like, how was the movie? He's like, uh, Hoover was kind of an asshole, and Leo had a lot of makeup on. Like, that's the movie <laughs> review. And then we go, well, how many stars was it? And you can tell, like, he didn't figure out how many stars. Yeah, he goes, yeah, uh, about three and a half. And then, like, we only have him one to review movies. Yeah. And they only last, like, a minute. But then, like, he's so fucking interesting. Yeah. And we've known him for so long. We get him on the phone for half an hour. We can't get off the phone with him. Really? And we're dying the whole time. Yeah. Uh, it should be up today, episode four. I highly recommend it. Okay, great. Fucking hilarious, dude. But you guys know now, uh, check out Matt Fultron and Ryan Sickler's podcast, The Crab Feast. The Crab Feast. On uh, Toad Hop Network. Toad Hop Network. Toad, Toad Hop Hop Network. Network. Dot com. Com. Yeah, I was just oh, on one of those shows on the Toad Hop. I was on uh, Ashley Hamilton's show and Justine oh, yeah. uh, Marino's show. It's it's really cool. They they Excellent. have a really nice thing. They're, they're moving to John Lovitz. Or have you guys done that already? Or? Uh, no. They're moving everything to John yeah, Lovitz? Yeah, that's what I heard. I thought. But, I think you might be right. I know they were talking about doing podcasts from there. Yeah. That cool. is um, uh, excellent, excellent news. Yeah, they're just moving on us. Moving on us. So, um, Okay. I guess we're gonna we're gonna get wrapping things up here. Uh, that was a lot of fun today. Thank you for yeah. for coming in. A um, pleasure, man. Tell me, tell our our listeners where they can see the full charge. You can see me at uh, in Santa Barbara on the fucking I don't know the ninth. I think good. This where, is good. Where's that? What's the gig we did in Santa Barbara? Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? Skip that. Uh, Velvet Jones. Yeah, yeah. That's it. We're doing that. I and love then, that place. And then I'm doing uh, comedy on state in Madison, Wisconsin, December fifteenth through December seventeenth. Dude, I uh, come I, out and see me. I got it. I told, I told listeners, I believe uh, last week, I think, and uh, I told you before. 
That is one of the best clubs in the country. Good, man. You're going to have a blast. People of Madison, you're going to love Matt Fulshron live and in person. Just come out. Come out and have a great time. It, it really is. That city's great, too. The club is great. I heard that. They, you, you, get a, you get a great hotel. It, it just, it's just... Listen to that. He has a great hotel, lady. So wash that muffler and, there you, go. and you maybe could There's check it out. There's some pretty girls walking around no, Madison, No, I know. There's like man. college girls and everything. Oh, right? yeah. I'm getting and nervous already. Madison's a great Whew. town. You're going to have a great time. Um, I want to uh, uh, thank again everybody that came out in Vancouver. You can see me again in the great <laughs> country of Canada, in the great province of Alberta, in the great city of Calgary, December 1st through 4th. I will be at the Laugh Shop at the Blackfoot Inn. Mm. And uh, two weeks later, very excited to go back to Hotlanta, the ATL. Hey. I'll be at the Laughing Skull, December 15th through 18th. So please come out if you're in Atlanta or in Calgary. We're going to have a great time there. And uh, this Friday... Uh, this Friday, yeah, oh, yeah. B- yeah, both of you guys, I guess, uh, we'll yeah, be going yeah, doing yeah. the Death Squad show here at the Ice House Comedy Guys, Club. Pasadena. Yeah, so to- go to icehousecomedy.com, you'll be able to buy your tickets. And also, tomorrow, Wednesday, we're having a Joe Rogan show with Steve-O, Joey Diaz, and uh, <laughs> somebody else. I don't even know who Here? It is. Yeah, here. Here. Yes. Steve-O, <laughs> Joey yeah. Diaz, and Joe Rogan. You want to do that also? Um, I don't know if I can do that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, can I get back to you on yeah, that? Yeah, Okay. That sounds like a lot of fun. I would oh, go yeah. watch that even if I weren't oh, yeah. on it, though. Do you um, want to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So tomorrow, jo- uh, what time is that show? That oh, no, at- I can't do it. I, I've, eat a dick. Uh, well, that, that, that shows no, at 1030. I, got, I have to eat a dick tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Meltdown Comics tomorrow. I oh, that's cool. That. That's an awesome that's place. But yeah, that's at 1030. That. Okay, I'll, well, I'll let me know about okay. that. And that's, uh, I think tickets are, are on sale now at icehousecomedy.com. All you mommies, thanks again. We love you. And Christina and I will be back. And in full force next week. Thanks for charge. Thank you.